Hey YouTube, welcome back to UK Highland Photography. I'm Strober and today I'm going to be sharing with you the technique that I've used in order to photograph the photographs it is that you have just seen. Now it's high speed photography and uh, I've basically been using the sound mode on the Myops Smart Trigger. And the Myop Smart Trigger is available from online shop, so if you do want to buy one, you can head over to the online shop and buy one. I don't need the box no more, so let's just get on and we'll talk about the tutorial and how I made these photographs. Well, basically, what I've done is I've basically used my air pistol in order to shoot some subjects. Very important. Make sure your safety comes first, right? Your safety always comes before the photograph. So make sure, if you're gonna be shooting air pistols, make sure you're wearing safety glasses. Take the needed, much needed precautions. Right, now on to the actual lighting setup. For all the photographs you've just seen, then I've used a standard lighting setup. For example, we're gonna be shooting chalk today. So I've got a blue stick of chalk. And I don't need this box no more, so I'm gonna put that down on the ground too. So let's stand up our stick of chalk. As you can see, the stick of chalk is now stood up. What I done with all them photographs is I simply placed a light to the side of the crayon okay you can see that so basically where my camera is now videoing me that's where I put my DSLR so my DSLR is where this camera is now and the light was set up to the right hand side or your left hand side of the stick of chalk and that is what gave me the actual lighting. Now, it's important that you guys understand this. This photograph was made with a one second exposure. I know, you're like, what? A one second exposure? But one second's blurs stuff. Yes, but this photograph was made with a fast flash duration so that means i set my speed light to the minimum power setting and turn a one second exposure in the very pitch black room it was that minimum flash duration speed that throws the piece of chalk exploding let me explain this let's say that this torch is that speed light now let's say I've got this torch on full, sorry, let's say I've got this speed light on full power. So if I activate on full power, this is what we get. You see that? We'll do that again. Full power. You see how long that light stayed on for? Now if we do it on minimum power, then this is what we get. Again, you see how fast that light is switching on and off. That's what's happening to your flash. It's called flash duration. The weaker you have your flash, the faster it is. And it's this speed of the flash that will actually freeze your photographs when you're working with your camera on long shutter speeds in a dark room. So now you know the technique that I've employed. Now I need to highlight this to you as well. When I was setting up my lighting, uh, my tabletop photography with my lighting, when I was setting it up, I noticed in some shots that the, the chalk was just totally too dark. So what I did, instead of, you know, increasing the power of the flash, instead of doing that, I simply pressed the zoom button and I zoomed the zoom head in a lot more. So the zoom head went from like 20 millimeters to 200 millimeters. And the benefit of doing this is when you zoom your zoom head into 200 millimeters, what happens is you're now concentrating, you're now focusing 
that light further in the distance, which in this case is the sticky chalk. And at the same time, you're remaining with the same flash duration. Remember, if you increase the power of your flash in order to illuminate something that is dark, then what you're doing is that you're going to be using a slower flash duration. So with that in mind, that is why I used the zoom button of the head in order to focus the light more if the image was initially too dark. And basically, I also used one of these. Now this is the TW282 remote control. It is my favorite remote control. I love this remote control. Why do I love this remote control? Because it allows me, it allows me to uh, program it. So I can set into it, you know, like 10 photographs with 10 seconds in between. Now, why would I want to program 10 photographs into this with the 10 second delay if I'm using the Myop Smart? Well, the answer is quite simple, really. What happens if I miss shooting that piece of chalk? If I miss, it means I've got to take it again. So if I have the TW2 year 2 remote control, you know, counting down, and if I miss on the first photograph, all I have to do is wait for the TW2 year 2 to take the next photograph. And if I take the next photograph and I hit the piece of chalk, the Myop sound sensor is going to hear the piece of chalk exploding and then it's going to activate my DSLR. Now, one thing I've got to say to you guys as well, when you're setting up your Myops Smart Trigger, then you've got to set it up so the sensitivity of the Myops Smart doesn't mistake the lifting of your DSLR's mirror you know the sound of your mirror lifting up your DSLR? Well, you've got to make sure that the Myop Smart doesn't confuse that noise with the noise of the chalk being struck by the pellet. And that's something why I had to do. So I basically decreased the sensitivity of the Myop Smart in order, you know, to get the sound of the chalk being struck by the pellet, which then activated it. The myops. So I know it looks like a simple setup, but as you can see, it's actually a little bit technical to be honest with you guys. But anyway, once you set up something like this, then you are going to have a very good time. So, guys, thank you for watching the video, and I'll catch you all in the next video.